Hey friends, welcome back to the shop this week. We are jumping back into Project Herald. If this is your first time here, I'm Art. I'm Dana. And this is our hopefully short-term project. <laughs> uh, and in this episode, we are going to be really, really working on the front end of this old man. Uh, if you saw the last episode we were working on this, I showed you that we have no inner fenders. And it was going to be something that I purchased down the road, but considering I don't like how some of the things are lining up right now, there's no sense in working to get the gaps right, the fitment right, knowing that we have to take everything back off in order to get the inner fenders on. You just want to strip them down. This is an episode of like Chippendales. <laughs> <laughs> ew! Ew! <laughs> I want to have a party, but not that kind of party. <laughs> not a Chippendales party? No, definitely not. <laughs> so the goal for this episode is the front grill and insert is coming off. Bumper is coming off. Both of the fenders are coming off. The hood is coming off because we have new hood hinges that need to be replaced. And the radiator. So the we, radiator. I think I had mentioned data, mentioned in an earlier episode, maybe just, in the walk around or probably something. Probably the walk around. It just doesn't fit. It's not the right radiator that yeah. we need. It, it doesn't fit. The cooling is not right. And there's a small leak. So it needs to go. And uh, if we're gonna replace it, we might as well upgrade it. So we will share <laughs> shortly exactly what we are upgrading it to. But uh, we got a lot to get done. Mm -hmm. And the parts are building up and they're not going to change themselves. So it's time to get into some late hours work, cranking up the music and just getting it done. Chippendale style. I'm going to spare everyone the dancing. <laughs> so there won't be a whole lot of dialogue here except for bits and pieces. So follow along in the work and I hope you enjoy the effort. You ready to get started on the hood? Yeah, let's take the top off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. So the hinges on these are old, rusted, and painted over and just really need to go because the hood is not lining up very well with these. So picked up new hinges from CJ Pony Parts. These are the uh, ones from Dynacorn and uh, a little less than 50 bucks a piece. So definitely worth the small investment to get these changed out. No now, big spring. Huh? No more big spring. Or the, no, we have to move the spring? We have to move the spring, yeah. The spring has to come off. Yeah. Hopefully the springs are going to be good and I don't have to buy new springs. I'm just going to cross my fingers here because... Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> That's not going to be fun to put on the new ones. It may go on easier than taking off. We'll see. 
Nothing goes on easier than taking it off. <laughs> it's always off as easy as that. Now the cowl came to us unbolted. So a new bolt kit and a, uh, a gasket for this for the hood and the cowl is actually on the way. This should slide out. All right, we have the antenna hooked up underneath. Now we can have a sword fight. Alright, now the body panels are off. We need to get this radiator out. There she goes. Slowly but surely. Always interesting what kind of hack shit that you find when you're taking things apart. Like bottom radiator braces, brackets, whatever you want to call them, they're not even bolted down. They're just sitting there. Just a freaking waste. Alright, well, give us an opportunity to do it right. Now we're moving on to some fun stuff. Picked up the the inner fenders from Summit Racing. These were uh, roughly 50 bucks a piece, and then unfortunately the hardware does not come along with it, so you have to buy that separately. But I'm excited to get these in because then it'll actually start to fill everything up once we actually are ready to put the fenders back onto the truck.
Okay, all done. All right, both fenders are now complete. I actually started to work on putting the badges back on for this side. There is our passenger side, and Dana's gonna go ahead and finish up with the badges and the front side markers. So into our front side fenders, we are going to be installing the United Pacific 18 LED side marker kit in amber. All right, another quick episode, just taking you guys through the steps that we're going through on tearing Harold down and building Harold back up again. And of course, showing the parts that we're actually using and how they're going together, uh, because there seems to not be some of those things as I'm discovering for this particular truck. That's why we got into doing YouTube in the first place. True, very true. Uh, so a lot of this is going to be less instructional, less guidance, and just more of us doing. Next episode, master cylinder, brake booster has to come off. If you know anything about scope creep and projects... <laughs> He's the king. I am the king of that. <laughs> and since we have all of this open, I figure why not go ahead and do some other things. So... Master cylinder, brake boosters coming off, those have to be replaced anyway, since we don't have any sides on. And with the brakes off, we are taking the valve covers off and gonna go ahead and get them powder coated. That was something I wanted to do down the road, but it's easier with everything open for us. Apparently that road is today. It is. <laughs> Turn right, now. <laughs> Uh, and as we discovered by taking the cowl off, some of the windshield wiper hoses were missing or painted, so they need to be replaced. Bought a new kit to replace those as well, so we'll walk through all the cool parts that we're going to be installing in the next episode. So stick along, and until then, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.